Hi guys, in this video we're going to go into some more detail of the second line of defense, the non-specific response or innate immunity. We're going to recap the three lines of defense, then talk about leukocytes, phagocytosis, the lymph system, inflammation response, and cell death to seal off a pathogen. So firstly, just to recap the three lines of defense, we have the physical defense barriers of the skin, and in our castle this is the walls and the moat. We then have our non-specific response, uh, being inflammation and pus, which we'll go into more detail shortly. And then immune response, which is the specific acquired immunity. Up until this point, we've talked about leukocytes as if they're one thing. We say, oh, you've got erythrocytes, red blood cells, because they carry oxygen. Leukocytes, white blood cells, they fight infection. They do fight infection, but they're not the one thing. It's basically a class of things, and there's a lot of different things that fall in that one. Uh, but yes, they do fight infection. And so some of the ones that are important are monocytes, including macrophages, uh, neutrophils, which are another type of phagocyte and the lymphocytes, including the B and T cells, which we'll get into in another video. So once the pathogen or antigen gets through the first line of defense, those physical barriers, and it gets into the body, the leukocytes turn on to start fighting it. The first thing that happens is the phagocytes, uh, and this is mainly neutrophils and macrophages. They move from the blood to wherever the infection is and devour the foreign particle. And this uh, devouring cell action is called phagocytosis, uh, which is where the phagocytes, as a class of leukocytes, get their names from. Uh, these dead cells, so the dead bacteria or antigen or whatever it was that it's eaten, uh, plus the phagocyte when it dies, uh, form a yellowish discharge called pus. Uh, so the wound starts getting pussy. This pus can get then be drained through the lymph system. So the lymph system is the body's drainage system. It's a whole heap of tubes uh, that run all around the body uh, in, con uh, in contact with the blood vessels and the cells. And what the main point of it is to drain extra interstitial fluid. So this is basically the juices that sit between the cells. And it drains these uh, juices back to the heart so that they can be re-added into the blood system. Throughout the lymph system, there are these lymph nodes or lymph glands. Uh, and they are found at different points throughout the lymph system. Uh, and are involved in the body's fighting of infection. So as the things drain to them, uh, they can accumulate toxins uh, or antigens uh, in these points and may become red and sore. So some common places are uh, in the neck, there's lots of uh, lymph nodes in the neck, as well as under the armpits and in the groin. Uh, so when you're sick, you may feel these being sore and tender. Once the leukocytes have started fighting to the disease, they release chemicals uh, to trigger other leukocytes, in particular other phagocytes, to come and fight the disease with them. And these chemicals can include prostaglandins and histamine. One of the things that these prostaglandins do is they dilate the blood vessels and cause the walls of the blood vessels to become leaky. This allows the white blood cells, the leukocytes, to move freely into and out of the blood, from the blood system into the tissue and back, as well as bringing those uh, toxins with it if it needs to. Another thing that happens because of this vasodilation is that circulation to that particular part increase of the body uh, increases. And this is why around an infection, there'll be swelling and redness. Uh, so that redness is those vasodilated blood vessels uh, and kind of coming to the surface as it's fighting that inflammation. Uh, now that this inflammation response has started, more uh, phagocytes will come from the blood system and attack these uh, pathogens and this process sort of feeds into itself and starts again. Another completely different way uh, that innate 
immune response works is cell death to seal off a pathogen. And this isn't a general thing. This is something for some specific diseases. And one of those specific diseases is tuberculosis. And what happens is that the macrophage is unable to deactivate the pathogen. So it uh, devours the pathogen. And rather than killing the pathogen, it actually gets sick and uh, becomes infected. So this triggers another series of events where other macrophages will come in and they will surround that infected macrophage and then lymphocytes will come and surround those uh, macrophages and then come in these uh, cells called fibroblasts and they wrap around all these cells and create a fibrous pocket uh, to hold everything in. And then all these cells undergo apoptosis, which is a pre-programmed cell death. Uh, and this, by having all these dead cells in uh, this fibrous shell, seals off that uh, antigen, the pathogen that was causing the disease, uh, but it creates a cyst in the tissue. And they, these cysts are called granuloma. In this video, we have recapped the three lines of defense and concentrated on the second line of defense, innate immune response or non-specific response. Uh, we've talked about the different types of leukocytes. Uh, in particular, we've talked about the phagocytes, uh, which are the ones that undergo phagocytosis, being a, the devouring cell action to kill the antigen or pathogen within the body. We've talked about the lymph system, the body's drainage system that allows the uh, pus and remnants of those things that have been killed to be drained uh, out of the body. Uh, however, this accumulates in the lymph nodes. And we've talked about the inflammation response where prostaglandins are released, which creates the leaky blood vessels uh, and an increase in circulation to an area causing redness and swollen soreness. And then we've talked briefly about cell death to seal off a pathogen, where a pathogen can not be killed by the macrophage, so therefore a whole heap of other uh, macrophage, lymphocytes and fibroblasts uh, undergo apoptosis or cell death to create a little bubble sealing off that pathogen so it doesn't cause any trouble, and this bubble is called a granuloma. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.